What up, guys? JK Dream Mode. And today, I'm actually just playing around right now. No doubt today, guys. Wait till the next video. But today, we're making props. And I want to share a little secret. I found these wheat, these uh, oil barrels. These are really cool. And they're actually, actually uh, barrels of slime. Look at that. It's like, ugh. It's all like slime. Right? Now, the cool part, these guys are only 89 cents. And look at the shape. It's perfect. It goes really well with your Marvel Selects. Um, but you could also use them for your like Ninja Turtles or whatever you want. But today, earlier, I was um, posting on Instagram like the painting of these guys and man a lot of you guys were like yo how'd you do that and make a video so I'm here making a video kinda just to show you guys how you can pose with them here I got the Hulk and I got She-Hulk and they're both you know carrying them right can you imagine what you could do with these guys when you build your scenes when you build your dioramas it's a very similar technique to what I do to the phone booth to the dumpster to even repainting the transformer all right, so here I got the paints right here, as you can see. And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this one red. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this one. I primed it black. I'm gonna paint it a base color, and then once it dries up, I'm gonna add the labels, and then I'm gonna just do some washing and do some weathering, and then that's basically it. That's simple. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys a little cl close up of it. So the cool part about doing these type of projects is that you don't have to be perfect. The more random you are, the more realistic it looks. So as you can see, from going from this black one right here, that's it's just a black uh, base coat. Right? It doesn't have to be perfect. Then the next thing I did was I gave it a couple of coats of of the color. You know, so I'm using yellow here. On this one, I'm using brown, right, with a little bit of green. All right, this one red now. All right, I saw a picture where the barrel is like red, but the middle has a white stripe. I thought it was pretty cool, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just mask it first. All right. Now mask in the middle, painting it red. All right, so I just pulled off the tape and it, it gave me these marks and I kind of like them. I kind of like them. Look at that, like easy to my advantage. there the fits in there it's dried up a little bit all right so i'm gonna just start playing around um oh, i found this sponge it has some cold texture i'm gonna mess with it kind of start pressing on it see what it does Ooh.
All right, got a fair amount of detail. So what I like to do sometimes is just kind of put a put a, a matte finish to seal it, and then go over it with the with the black wash. So. All right, so then now we'll play around with I use brown instead. Starting in details, you know, like right here, I have like a, a concentrated area that looks like it's rusting. Like so, you go back and forth, you know, and just now it's all about now it's actually fun. Now it's actually just throwing different layers of details and having ways to complement each other, right? So, and no way not to do too much, you know, sometimes you get carried away, but. Um, those imperfections give it that a little bit more of that real, that realism. You know? Okay, so the more you keep going with layers, look at that. Doesn't that look toxic? <laughs> so you can keep going crazy and getting more into it, more into it. Look at that. That looks like it's just. Like it spilled once, you know? Look at that. Very cool. But this one, we're gonna put a lot of water. One drop of a lot of water. And just start staining it. You know? So if I do that, right? Then I get water. Alright, look at that. And then you start creating these natural drips. And it looks like it's spilled, you know? Da -da -da, it's done guys and here it is and by popular demand here is the oil barrel or the toxic barrel whatever you want to call it but here it is okay real simple technique 
on painting. I've done this before several times, but I'm just reiterating it in this video. And by popular demand, here's the video. So uh, this is a great prop for when you're uh, doing some toy photography with your dioramas and your figurines, and it really adds to the scene. So. All right, guys, I hope you like it. I hope you learned something. And, guys, please write a comment. Hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe. All right, guys? Peace.